Good afternoon. Welcome to Fishing for Bees. This is my YouTube channel on swarm catching and beekeeping. All our colonies are swarms that we've caught. We've never split a colony. We've never purchased bees. We've never purchased a queen. Currently we have six colonies in production for honey, which we'll be pulling next week. And um, six nukes that were swarm catches this year and another colony up in White Cloud, Michigan for pollination. In the past, coming into spring, we've had so many colonies that we've given away 10 frame colonies. If any of that interests you, please like and subscribe. So today we're just gonna do a quick video on how we fill our smaller jars. So we bottle and sell most of our product in ball jars. Um, but occasionally we get orders for wedding showers or uh, baby showers or whatever, you know, events, Christmas parties where we have to fill a smaller jar, and if you've ever tried to fill out of a standard honey gate in a bucket, a smaller jar, it's, uh, it's a good way to make a big mess. These are a little bit wider than the normal ball. I find filling a normal ball jar isn't a problem with a honey gate in a five gallon bucket, but when you get into these three ounces, it's a good way to have it go all over the place. So we needed to come up with a way to fill the smaller mouth jars without making a huge mess and it was a bit of a process you know I thought about doing it with uh, some type of a big measuring cup or something like that it still didn't seem like the right way to go so after a couple searches on Amazon and so forth we found the right size originally we were the wrong size for these half gallons to fill these smaller jars this comes with a lot of other pieces that we don't use, but it's got a cap, a uh, strainer if you were to have, you know, make some herbal tea or something like that. Here's a smaller strainer. So a lot of that stuff we don't use, but it is a pretty good quality product, and I'm very happy with it. And the handle works great for holding these very heavy half gallons. So what we do when we're bottling is we always make sure that we have half gallons filled. Um, so that if we get an order that needs to be filled rather quickly for any of these events that I've mentioned, we can get it done fast. Uh, we don't have to break out with a five gallon bucket. Two of these, um, works really well for like 40 small jars and 30 of the larger jars, but we always want to keep some half gallons on hand and sometimes I'll fill, you know, 10 of them, um, which is equivalent to a five gallon bucket, just to always have it so that I don't have to go back. One of the other nice things about storing your honey in half gallons, and I am even interested in gallons as far as glass, is if it does crystallize, these are really easy to take care of that with. A five gallon bucket, you're gonna have a lot harder time trying to decrystallize a five gallon bucket that you've been sitting on for a couple months or a year, and then now you have an event that you need to fill something for. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to show you we don't have an event, so there's no need to be filling any jars right now because, again, if these start to crystallize on you, they're a lot harder to manage in the smaller jars than they are in a half gallon. So we just take this with the seal inside. It's got a nice seal. Screw it on tightly. It is rather heavy when it's full so you know, when you first start out best to use two hands but even the smallest jar fills really nicely with this and here you go I mean kind of silly but that's it uh, no overflow no spillage on the outside no mess we're able to fill a lot of them quickly and then decorate them and get them to the customers so if you're struggling filling smaller jars uh, again i'll leave a link for this if it's still available <laughs> if things sell out on amazon so we've had it for quite a while i'll try and do the best i can so when you're ordering it the mistake that we made is we got the wrong size on the first order and then we had to reorder so make sure you're ordering the right size give this a try if you're struggling filling small jars with this process there's no waste and it's super easy and quick thanks for watching i hope your bees are well